not 20, not 30, but 40 pounds of ice a day. That's four bags of ice a day. Every 18 minutes, this puts a tray of ice out, all right? Over and over and over again. You can put any kind of water that you want, ordinary tap water, filtered water, distilled water, whatever you want inside there, plug it in, all digital control, and every day you're gonna get 40 pounds of ice. It is the largest capacity of all our ice machines. And I'm, with me, I'm, so, I, I'm like, go big. When I want ice, I want a lot of it inside. The ice hides right inside. There's your little tray. Your ice will never look better. Your ice will never taste better. Why? Because the distance that this has to travel uh, from the water supply, which is right in the machine, to, uh, to the actual um, uh, way that it makes the cubes, is a matter of inches. There's no time for it to develop air bubbles and get those cloudy ice cubes. And because this does not live in your freezer, where your frozen french fries live, your frozen peas, maybe you got frozen fish, maybe you got a bag of shrimp in there, your ice is not gonna taste like crap. It's gonna taste like clear, delicious, ice, which is should, like nothing, right? If you want to get it today, remember I told you yesterday on Facebook, look at these reductions. We sell this every day of the week for $1.99. Again, inventory issue. We took $60 off the price. It's only $28 on FlexPay to get it home, 720501. Here to explain, oh, by the way, I have it in uh, silver and I also have it in black. What a great what a great bonus to have at a party or every day of the week when you need it, right? You can even put it outside and have people just grab their ice as they need it. Exclusive here to HSN, Deb Byers is standing by. She'll take you on a little tour of our crazy cool ice machine, but I'll tell you, there is nothing better than having your own ice machine. I love it. Deb, are you there? She is. Hi, Deb. I'm absolutely, good morning, Guy. I'm absolutely here and I am enjoying a glass of ice cold water. <sighs> with the most delicious, clear, crystal clear, best tasting ice I've ever had that came from my absolutely amazing ice maker. This ice maker sits on your counter. It's got its own micro uh, computer right on top. So it's like an ice maker with a brain. You don't have to have a special line to, to hook up a water line. You don't have to have a drain line. When you get it in the box, you remove the packaging, you plug it in, you put the water here in the back, any kind of water that you like, you fill it to the fill line, it's super, super clear. And then on the LCD microcomputer screen, you get to choose the thickness of the ice that you want, whether you want thin ice, which is gonna help you with the smoothies or help you with a light drink that you just wanna chill off. You press it once, two, three, four, five, up to six times, and you're going to be getting thicker cubes. I think it may have just harvested. So then it's going to count down how long it's going to take for your ice to drop. Every 15 minutes, it's going to drop a full tray of ice, depending on the thickness. If you want it a little longer, it's going to take a little bit longer. When it hits the tray, it fills the tray up. It'll tell you when the tray is full and the ice needs to go either to a cooler or into the freezer or into your drinks, which is going to taste amazing. When it needs water, it's going to tell you and it is self cleaning guys so when you want to make sure that you've got the absolute best tasting ice every single time this machine does it all 24 hours the capacity it'll make 40 pounds of ice it's just amazing guy you're absolutely right yeah and i'll tell you if you're entertaining the last thing you want to have to do is send one of your guests out or have you have to run out and go to the, the you know the local little convenience store and buy more ice it's just a pain, right? And then the, here's the other problem. If you were, let, let's say, well, I can always go buy 40 pounds of ice ahead of time. Where are you going to put it? Now you got to go buy, you got to have coolers all over the place. You don't have to deal with that. This makes ice around the clock, all right? So while your people are there, and then let's say, all right, let's say you've got, um, you know, you've got about two and a half pounds, three pounds of ice inside here, all right? And people start using it, right? All you need, it'll continue to make ice every 18 minutes, so it's never gonna be empty, right? And if you do have a party of 20 or 30 people while well, you've got ice inside, right, in, in your regular refrigerator freezer, then you've got a, a support system. You've got ice that's being made on the side so that you can replenish that as you go. This does not hold the 40 pounds, just so you know. This holds about two to three pounds of ice, uh, and then it's full. You don't need more than that because then it's just going to melt. So you, it, every time that it fills up, if you want, you can take it and you can bag it and you can put it in your freezer. You can put it in a cooler. That's what a lot of people like to do. They like to get, you know, one of their big Yeti coolers or Igloo coolers or whatever, and they make the ice and they dump it in and they just save it for when the party's there. You can do that as well. We are doing $60 off on this today. 
all right? We reduce the shipping. It's only $28 to get it home. If you want to get it home, one of these, I'm telling you, I've owned one for years. They're fantastic. They never fail. And Deb, I can use pretty much any kind of water, right? Tap water, distilled water, anything. Anything that you like. It's super, super easy. You don't need a special drain. You don't need a special line. You just fill the back. But these ice cubes are restaurant quality. This compressor, it's cool. It's a compressor cooling mechanism inside your ice maker. That's the same technology that the restaurants and the high end uh, hotels do make these beautiful ice cubes. Now you'll notice I've got a small, I'm gonna just close this up, a small bottle that you can get at that million dollar coffee store. Well, your ice cubes are going to fit in the top of any small vessel that you have. So you don't have to worry about those great big ice cubes that come from the conventional ice trays that we all have been using for years and years and years. They even come with your refrigerator or freezer. But these are what you were talking about, Guy. These will take about six hours to make 14 cubes. Your beautiful ice maker is actually making 24 cubes every 15 minutes. Think about that. And they are going to fit in virtually any vessel that you have. But this is going to absorb all those tastes. Even if we're super, super conscientious in our freezer, a closed up freezer is going to have things that are going to take fun taste funky. So this ice in a glass of water, a glass of wine, a glass of lemonade, or a mixed drink is going to have that weird funky aftertaste you don't experience that with this beautiful ice maker because to your point guy everything is flash frozen the uh, the beautiful body of this is going to keep the impurities out so your water is going to always remain fresh and by the way if you fill this you fill it to the fill line and maybe you just use it to make one tray of ice in three days your water will still be fresh if you want to change it there's a little bit of the drain in the back you put it over the tub the uh, sink or if you're taking this glamping, which I totally recommend, as long as you've got a plug in water, and then you simply drain it. It is portable, it weighs about 26 pounds, so you can take it out to the lanai or take it out to the patio and enjoy the benefits of having that delicious tasting ice every single time. And remember, this has a micro computer on the top, so it's fun to watch it count down before it starts to drop the ice into the tray. They call it harvesting. That's what I learned. That's a whole new word for harvesting your ice to have delicious ice every single time, Guy. And the taste is extraordinary. That, and that's really what it is. For me, it's really about the quality of the cubes. I mean, I love having extra ice. I'm an ice freak, okay? I was one of those people that used to chew ice all the time. I've stopped now because the dentist says you probably shouldn't <laughs> chew ice. And I'm like, yeah, well, I don't tell you what to do, but you're a dentist, so I'll listen to you. But I, but I I will tell you, the key to this thing is the way the cubes are made. You see the size of them, which actually, I'm a big fan of smaller cubes, because I, I, I mean, let me tell you, I live for that pellet ice that some of the fast food places do, but I like the cubes a little bit smaller. I don't need a big old, you know, chunk of cube when I'm trying to get to the bottom of it and drinking it and banks you off the nose. I don't need that. But the key is, because you've got smaller compartments, they freeze up faster. That's why you get ice so quickly every 18 minutes and you're not waiting. The typical time is, you know, at least 30, 40 minutes for an ice cube. Uh, so that's why these, uh, these come up so quickly. Also, the fact that you're getting really, and I'll show them to you, they're really beautiful cubes. They're semi-hollow, <coughs> which is another reason why. I don't know if you can see. I'll put one in my hand. Uh, which is why you get that quick ice, right? That's that's one of the reasons. Uh, it also allows your drink, uh, whatever it is you're drinking, to circulate quicker and get very, very cold. Um, and I like pack. I would always rather have more ice. Like, I'd rather have more smaller cubes than fewer big cubes. I just like, that's the way I like it. Uh, that's how fast food places do it. I know there's some probably been some research done. That's why they do it. Do you ever go to a fast food place? and see three cubes. No, they pack it full of ice. A couple reasons. They save money on product. Uh, but it's also because it's more, it's refreshing and it's nice and cold. Hey, in my house, I don't care about saving money, but I like a nice cold drink if I'm making iced tea or lemonade or iced coffee. I like the smaller cubes, okay? And I think the other big, big deal for me like I said, is the quality of the taste of the cubes uh, and the fact that the cubes are clear. I don't like, you know, almost every standard machine out there that's a refrigerator, freezer, when you get the cubes out, unless you bought some seven or $8,000 high-end machine that does, filters out the water, especially, and, and trickles it in there somehow without bubbles, you're gonna get cloudy cubes. With these, you're gonna get really, really nice, clear cubes, and you can sort of see them where you are. You can see them in my hand. There they are right there. Oh, are you watching it? Are cubes coming out? Should I open it up? All right, let's watch. I don't know if this one's got them coming out yet. 
Is it? Okay. So there's the cubes. And that this has all happened live before you. So what's going to happen is you'll see they're slowly start to purge out. And it, the, the little lever on the back just pushes them right out. And then you've got a full tray of ice cubes ready to go. You can already see them starting to separate a little bit. It's so cool, right, to see it. Uh, $60 off if you want to pick this today. We can sit. We, the, the, the tension is killing me here to wait for these things to come out. <laughs> come on, baby. They're coming. I think they're coming. Did they already come out? I think they might have already come out of this one. It's hard to tell. Anyway, when I hear them coming, I'll, I'll try to lift that lid off. Uh, by the way, it does close. That's to keep it uh, insulated inside on the top. Deb, we've got a lot of uh, little buttons here. Would you explain the digital controls on top? Absolutely. This is your microcomputer right there on the top. The first thing that you're going to do is take the packaging out, put it on the table, you'll fill the back with water, and you're going to turn it on. Then it's going to show you the ambient temperature. That's kind of important. That's in that up, well, up on your, on the screen, it's in that upper left-hand corner. Yeah. That's telling you the temperature of the room that you're in, and that's going to be an indicator of how fast your ice maker is going to be making the ice. Because if it has to work a little bit harder because it's a warmer room, it'll take a, maybe a minute or two longer but the general time frame is about 15 to 18 minutes, which is what you said. Then you're going to press the plus or minus button. If you start at one, which is the lowest, that's that thinner ice or the lighter ice, all the way up to six, and that's going to be your thicker ice. The lighter ice is the ice that you're chewing, which you know you're not supposed to. We all know that. But that's the one that's going to help to make your frothy drinks even more frothy. So the smoothies and the protein drinks, when they blend them, are going to be amazing. And I'll do that in just a second. The thicker ice is going to be for a drink that you want to keep super cold and for longer. So it's going to make thicker ice. Then you've got that little power light. And then when the little thing that's spinning around, you see those little ice cubes spinning around, it's running over. It's running over the ice tray and putting the water on the tray over and over and over again to get it to freeze. When that stops and flashes solid, it's going to get ready to drop it. But then you're going to be able to see the minutes that it counts down to do that. So it's like watching it. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It's like a brain on your ice maker. It'll tell you when the basket is full. The basket holds two and a half pounds. It'll tell you when it needs more water and you simply refill the... There you go. You just saw it. That's it. It just harvested those 24 cubes right into the basket. So you're going to be able to enjoy that delicious restaurant quality ice absolutely every time. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a smoothie here because I want you to see how amazing the ice can make your favorite blended drink. So here we go. I just have regular frozen fruit in here. I've got a little bit of juice.